Hey, Tim Sykes here with a very important lesson. This is my fractured finger. Um, I had a little boo-boo uh, when I had a very good workout this morning. It was probably my best workout of the year, but I'm a little bit clumsy and it was just a nasty, nasty uh, workout accident. So partial fracture in my index finger. Uh, I have to go see some, some doctors for some follow-ups to see what I can do, but I guess fracturing your fingers or breaking your fingers or even spraining your fingers sucks. Uh, there's no real medicine for it um, to, to make it better anytime quickly. And the reason why I'm sharing this, not just because I want to show you this ugly little orange wannabe cast, uh, but because there's a lesson here. And, you know, some of you know that I've been really working out harder, uh, focusing on my health for 2016, really just you know, hitting it in the gym. And I've been getting better and better, you know, healthier, feeling more confident. And this accident was not caused by like bad form or anything. It was just because I was a little careless. And, you know, it comes from cockiness and it comes from getting too comfortable. And, you know, okay, I'm maybe I'm a klutz in real life, whatever you want to say. Uh, this applies directly to the stock market too. Uh, on Friday, I had probably what was my best trade of the week, making roughly $2,000 on a small position on DGLY, um, selling some for nearly a dollar a share profit, you know, and then it went another dollar uh, a share. So I took, you know, roughly half of the move buying DGLY in the fives before it went all the way up to the sevens, I was out in the sixes. Um, but after that, I tried a little more aggressive trade on LEDS. And, you know, I bought it thinking that it would squeeze past the tens and I just got smacked down by a wall of sellers. And, you know, before I could even get the alert out, I mean, it was already a, a sizable loss. Um, and then all I could do was, was basically cut losses quickly. I still sent out, you know, what I did. I don't hide from my losses. I don't hide from my mistakes um, because I think that there's lessons. And, you know, after DGLY, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling it. Like, you know, I was, I was getting really comfortable and really cocky. And then the LEDS, trade, you know, snapped me out of that and brought me back down to size and, and brought me back down to reality. And now this, this little fractured finger is doing the exact same thing in real life where, you know, I was working out hard. I was, I was really feeling good. Um, and it's not the end of the world. You know, I'm not in pain all the time. <laughs> it's actually just kind of annoying to type and it, it kind of hurts my Snapchat above anything else. I have to Snapchat with a different finger. Um, but it was just a, such a stupid, silly mistake looking back at it. No different than LEDS. And all I can say for you guys is to learn from this. And no matter how well you're doing in trading or at anything in life, you can never get careless. You can never get too cocky. You are one mistake away from being cut back right down to size. And in the stock market, this is especially important because I know a lot of us sometimes go on winning streaks and you're just like, ah, screw it. The rules don't apply to me, you know, and you feel so great, you know, when you're making a few thousand dollars in a few minutes or a few hours or a few days, whatever it is, or, you know, some people with smaller accounts, a few hundred dollars, but you really feel like you can do no wrong. <laughs> and that's when you uh, are, are really prone to make uh, mistakes. And luckily for me, you know, I'm still profitable, even with my losses on LEDS. Um, I'm having a great month, great year, great decade, great lifetime. Uh, you know, with this little fractured finger, it's not going to sideline me for long. I can still do other stuff. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty fortunate. Um, in the past, I have had bigger problems. You know, I did uh, lose $500,000 on a trade a little over a decade ago. Oh, actually right around a decade ago. And that really helped me value my trading rules. And I know a lot of you guys have uh, had losses in the stock market or in life that helps you uh, understand things a little better. So that's what you have to do when you have a loss, when you have a mistake, you don't whine about it, you don't cry about it, you don't quit international soccer forever like a baby. Um, for those of you who know who I'm referring to, it's pathetic, okay? If you have a mistake, if you have a loss, you get right back up, you learn from it, and you aim to do better in the future. Um, and that's all I can do, you know, so this, while it stinks, it's annoying, it's frustrating, um, it's life, 
and life is part of, uh, you know, understanding yourself and understanding reality. And, you know, I was a philosophy major, so maybe this is a little too philosophical for some of you guys, but I take every mistake, every loss, every failure as a lesson to do better in the future. Never, ever to give up. Never, ever to quit. Am I going to quit working out now? Oh, I have fractured my finger. I'm never going to work out again. No. Oh, I had a loss in LEDs. Am I never going to trade again? No. I'm going to learn. And I'm going to say, wait a minute. Let me file this away in the back of my mind. Let me remember and learn what not to do in the future and get better and optimize. So for all those of you who have had losses or mistakes, it's okay. Nobody is perfect. It's a part of being human. It's a part of life. But what you can do, what you can control with the situation is how you react to it. And, you know, so many people are not failures in life or in the stock market because they're not intelligent. It's because they don't have the right attitude. They don't have the right mindset. They don't have the right perspective. Um, I posted a few weeks ago about two students, uh, one who just passed $100,000 in profits, another one who just passed $300,000 in profits. And the $300,000 uh, profit guy, you know, was my challenge student three years ago. And he blew up his account five or six times. I mean, he was breaking rules. He didn't cut losses, but he kept learning and he kept at it. And now he's passed 300,000. He bought a house, he bought his dream car. And the guy who made over 100,000 now, uh, he was losing rather consistently at first too. Now he's making 10,000 a week. My top student, Tim Gratani, uh, who we just did a, a free webinar uh, you can you can see the replay now. We posted it on Friday um, or on Thursday last last week. You know he just passed three million in profits, and it took him uh, several months of studying and, and doing the wrong thing. You know, following alerts, and I say never follow my alerts, never follow anybody's alerts. It's all about learning to create your own plan. That's why you know I don't just have a ticker with a price like so many chat rooms do. Uh, you don't learn anything like that. Okay, I'd rather have. You get an alert 30 seconds later with my mindset and my plan written out so that you understand what I'm thinking and you can try and put yourself in my shoes and you know you can learn. That's how education takes hold. That's why I have more millionaire students than anybody. So what you think might be uh, wrong is an assumption on your part. Um, and I get a lot of assumptions out there about, you know, what I do and, and how to teach. Well, guess what? I've been teaching for nearly 10 years and I've learned from a lot of mistakes and I've learned from a lot of successes and I've optimized. And that's what, you know, being successful in life and being successful in the stock market is all about. You really keep track of your entire journey. Keep a diary, keep a trading diary on Profitly. Uh, never ever just try and forget bad moments, never ever try and just sweep them under the rug. You know, when I have a big loss, I write blog posts about it. You can type in on Google, Timothy Sykes' biggest loss, and you'll see several of my biggest losses. I don't hide from them. I'm not embarrassed uh, like most people. You know, I show you my full name. I show you my full track record. There's a whole group of people out there who like to criticize, and guess what? They don't show anything. It's very easy to criticize from the shadows when you personally don't do anything. Um, or, or show everything, you know? Full transparency is what it's all about. The good, the bad, the ugly, and you know, this fractured finger sucks. I'm not trying to say that it doesn't. I'm not trying to say that, uh, you know, I'm happy right now, but at the same time, I'm gonna talk about it, and I think there are valuable lessons. So don't be a messy, never give up, and I'll see you guys in the chat room. Thank you.